Whoops a daisy, dude! Nope. I don't know what that is. Whoa! Oh my <laughs> lord. Okay. Welcome back, everybody, and Happy New Year. Dynamite intro, Mrs. Lush, and with the Happy New Year, an addition to the normal dynamite. I can't believe it. <laughs> you know what else is happy? Today, right now, because I'm about to get sweaty palms and a heart full of pumping blood, because we're going to watch some close calls together. Right. You ready to get sweaty? Sure. No, it's not. Three, two, one, go. <gasps> Yo. Nope. Just, wouldn't be me. Dude, you gotta have people check on the other side of the bridge. That is so stupid. He was a goat's head. He was a chin head. <clears throat> he was a goat's chin hair away from getting his fever crushed. All right. <laughs> Let's try. Imagine being the people on the boat too. They're probably devastated. Oh yeah, horrified. all parties. Yeah, all parties around would be horrified. <laughs> yeah, get that techno music going on. We're on the highway, rev it up to 100. Whoops a daisy, dude! Nope. Nope. You absolute moron. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really hate bad drivers. Just no reason for it. I really hate dumb, yep. stupid. As my father always told me, speed kills. Uh, don't get me wrong, I like going fast, but I will not be caught dead losing my one chance on earth doing some dumb shit like that. He also taught you to drive to the comfort of your passengers, which mm -hmm. I appreciate very much. Yeah. I'm more of like the acceleration. Like I love some acceleration and some nice throaty V8, but uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna be driving 110 on the highway for no reason. I did enough of that in college. Like everyone goes through that phase, I think, when you're younger, but if you're still doing that in your 30s, <clears throat> Steven. Nope. <laughs> I oh. coughed and said Steven. Oh. <laughs> you need to f check yourself, bro. <laughs> Grandpa having a little siesta on the back porch here. Looks like he left his... Well, I don't know what that is. Whoa! It's not a candle. Hey! <laughs> I gotta tell you, that's a pretty effective alarm clock. He's just probably a heavy sleeper. Well, that's He's like, like a classic grandpa resting his eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that, dude? That man never ran so fast in the yeah, last 20 years. Yeah, I mean, listen, if you're a heavy sleeper, you just gotta set that crock pot to explode if you wanna get up before the company gets there, I guess. It's like a cheap solo stove it, yeah, or something? It's gotta be, I can't really I think tell. that has to be some sort of like the Chinese Amazon version of some patio cool little cozy fireplace that malfunctioned or something. Someone will know what it is. Yeah. You know what it was? It looks like a bottle of lighter fluid right next to that, too. Oh, so that that's probably, good, yeah. It should be right next probably, to it. You should leave it right yeah, there. You absolutely should. And next then to the open And flame. then fall asleep. <laughs> it definitely recommends that in the warnings and the instructions. Yeah, leave the lighter fluid next Unattended. to it. Unattended. There he goes. Yoy! Nope, 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 don't like that stuff. Yeah, that was like an FNAF situation right there. F-A-N-F, sorry. You said FAFO, now you're changing oh, it. Oh, no, I, what am, I've said FAFO a thousand times and all of a sudden I'm changing Making it. Making up new letters? Honey, I've, I'm having a tough morning, all right? Leave me alone. That was a FAFO situation. Jim's having a day, all yeah. right? And it's 10.22 a.m. Close calls caught on camera. Hmm. Okay. You know, just a 12 by 6 cinder block falling out of the sky, cutting like your from car in half. I, yeah, Another no, I, idiotic driver. Some construction site. See you later, Icicle. Yeah. Whoa. That makes me hate the biker, though. Yeah. <laughs> You're they like, it's like a, fast, some main but... throughway. I'm sorry, but bikers piss me off. Like, I know drivers suck too, but like, this guy's got a full green light, right? So he's flying through that intersection. Yeah. This biker looks like he came across to turn left. Maybe that was the end of that light cycle or something. I don't know. Like, this guy did have plenty of time. He should have seen them beforehand. Like, get on the side of the road, dude. You and your cute little spandex oh little. My. He goes crazy about the spandex suits that bikers wear. I just like, I, listen, I love people that are active and you're out exercising, and you're doing great, but you just look foolish and there's no way around it. I'm sorry, it's cool. I'm gonna get one. Uh, you, uh, <laughs> uh, you would look hot in it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, females and bikers, biker singles, I'm okay with, but Stop like, that. young little testosterone list, like skinny fat, like flabby, like little like, Tiny little like like, like bi yeah like biceps as big as your wrist arm looking head ass <laughs> biker <laughs> outfit <laughs> driving around up look done seventy six 
miles today on my cross country bike. Look at this cool little singlet and my pasty little stick like thighs because all I do is I've never touched a weight in my life because I'm a biker. I've just, have you ever seen an aesthetically <laughs> pleasing, have you ever seen a jacked aesthetically pleasing biker? No, you haven't. They're all mid 40s with the hairline back to here, the little patch up here, a little comb over. Their upper arms are as big as their wrist. Their thighs are as big as my forearm and they walk around with their cool little slick shades on and the hat and they unclick their little steps and they're clicking around click 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 like walking in to pick up their soy latte <laughs> Do you think they have a cliff bar in their pocket? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Subsisting off of cliff bars and gluten-free vegan protein snap peas. Out of here with that bullshit. The picture has been painted. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope at least one other person finds as much. Oh, joy there's definitely, on an there's definitely a portion of our audience that are bikers, and I, you know, we I love, love you. I love you guys. I'm having a crack, as the Australians say. Close call. Close call. Yeah, you could say that. Yep, yep. How's your femur? Oh my lord, dude. Yeah, you're smiling now. If they had some more meat on their thighs, it would have gone through. <laughs> There you go! In that case, it worked in his advantage. If he didn't so have- see, there's a reason they're thin. Yeah. You know what's crazy though is so th there's two types. I don't want to slight those of you that like mountain bike. There's a lot of guys who like do serious biking who actually have some pretty built quads. Usually if you're doing more like vertical mountain biking stuff, but it's the road, it's the road bikers. The, it's the road, no, it's the road racers. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. These actually make me sweat. Oh, this is very... Oh, he's got audio on there. This is very anxiety provoking. Oh, shit. he says, yeah, oh, shit is right, dude. You're in an I'd avalanche. I'd be saying a little more than oh, shit. once. The whole thing would be an he, he's, is He just pooped his pants. He's back up, though. And he's good. Dude, that's some real thrill-seeking insanity right there. Wouldn't be me. You just can't do stuff like that and go back to doing normal things and feel okay about it. <laughs> yeah, we're comfort seekers over here. Yes. A little bit of thrill here and there. Oh, what are you talking about? Uh, I occasionally like to drive with my Crocs on. <laughs> what? <laughs> I like to push the envelope a little bit, you know? You got Crocs for Christmas. Sometimes I'll even take my shoes off and drive with bare feet. I'm not saying I'm a badass, but... Uh, wow. Occasionally I like to push the gas a little harder than usual. Caution, three right, one on the outside. Now watch this one. Three right, one on the outside, and easy down. Watch the tires. Easy down. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. boy. No, no, no. Oh, boy. Watch the watch. Watch the watch. Take it out. Watch the chicane. Speaking of, like, thrill seekers, and now I was talking about speed kills, like, rally driving is awesome. Like, when you're in a controlled environment and, like, you're there to do it's that different. thing, it's still super dangerous, but it's different. You're taking into account the variables and trying to make it as safe as possible, and that looks amazing. I would love to, like, get on, like, an F1 speedway. or I've never done anything, like, high-speed car and controlled environment type of thing. We could arrange that. I think I would love There's to There's an F1 that, so. in Boston. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. Okay. Yo, what was the... No. Ooh, what a duck move by this dude. He just parried that deer. <laughs> kind of did. He like ducked it and like shunned it over his head. That's one thing hitting a deer while you're in a car. Sorry about your deer, but if you're on a skateboard, you might be the one that's sorry. Okay. The music. Yo! Dude, That's, like, wait, I need to see that again. What are the chances this dude was literally just walked out? Get a bunch of cargo. That's about as close as a car can get right is, there. Like his is. finger was like the whole like night. Like the heel of his foot. That man's lucky to be alive. <laughs> How's that feel? Well, well, to you. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Luckily, he had a helmet on. Could have messed him up pretty good. Like masks or something. I feel like like with a respirator or something like that. It feels like it's so dusty in there. Oh yeah. Anytime you're doing demo work, you gotta wear. I'm gonna breathe it oh, in. Oh yeah. Drywall and okay. insulation and asbestos. If the place is a yes. little bit older, you gotta be wearing a respirator. Oh, come on. What? Wait, what? Oh, what the hell? 
Oh boy. I don't like this already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Change his mind. Probably a good idea to get out of there. Anytime you put what, do you, an explosive. Do you want to blow up your ass? No, he wants to make a cool video for the internet. Okay. There was one that went super viral like a year or two ago where there was like this huge, huge party, just like beach outdoor party or something. And some dude was like on the top of a rock and was gonna like light a firework off and it like goes off in his hand and it literally like blew his hand off like here and like this part of his hand was just like dangling down like this. And he was like, yeah, and like drinking a beer. And I was like, well. But after he knew that his hand was- Oh yeah, yeah, like kept the party going. No. And that's one of those, like he was probably blacked out drunk. That's one of those where you wake up the next day, probably in the hospital, don't know what happened and now you can't use your hand very well. I better use my strong hand. Whoa. Okay. That's crazy, though. That's insane. Medium injury, and they recovered in the hospital. Oh my God, what, what, I love medium injury. It's a very like Chinese translated to English type right, of like headline. Really moderate or something. Something Jackson would say. And it's medium. Medium. He says not about anything. It's not a lot of something. It's just medium. Oh no. Yo. Yo. Come on. Legitimately jumped over the dog. That's crazy though. Not really what you say about that. That's just serendipitous. Oh, this might be. This looks sketchy. This might be. Oh boy. Yep. That guy was like one foot. Oh my god. Yeah, his heel was like on the part that went down. What about the people below? Are there any living down there? Yeah, they died. <laughs> Heard a strange noise. Something about to happen? Mm -hmm. Yep. I guess maybe you can hear it happening above you. Motherly instinct. Well, it makes you appreciate like the amount of insane regulations and red tape that oftentimes has to go through from like a building integrity standpoint that sure. the, the lay person never even thinks of. But you look at different places of the world that don't have these checks and balances in place and like like that happens much more often. And it's not to say it doesn't happen in the US too. If you talk about like US infrastructure, think about how many like bridges and tunnels were built like 50, 60, 70 years oh, ago yeah. that we don't have the budget to check up on. And like the only time you ever hear about it is when something fails and collapses and someone dies. And then there's like this push to like, well, we need like an infrastructure bill. And they've tried to push stuff, some of that stuff through Congress, but like some of that stuff is just inevitably gonna start failing before, sure. you, know, and, you know, the only way we'll know it's failing is because somebody got killed, <laughs> probably. So don't ever drive through a tunnel or take a bridge is what I'm telling you, you will die. <laughs> Oh, do we love a good runaway tire? We've seen a few of these oh, before. Oh, these freak me out. Yo! Wait, but it was on fire? Bro, that thing was screaming! Part of me wants to be like, was this CGI? But... I don't think it was. If it was, it looks good, but... That was something, dude. That thing was cruising. Nope, nope. <coughs> Holy sh dude. He's like on a legit moped too. Like tigers, Holy oh smokes. look at that dude. That is gnarly. Tigers can probably run really fast. I know cheetahs can run like 60 or 70 miles per hour. Something insane. Tigers are probably pretty fast. Tigers are probably pretty fast and probably much more scary if they get a hold of you than a cheetah. Well, see cheetah, you later. Cheetah could probably bang you up too. I'm about to see how fast I can run away from this outro right now. Thanks for watching. As always, we appreciate your time. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.